dusty red on her shoulder. I was cleaning her shoes when it clicked on the driveway. We brushed and we braided dandelions and chewed. Was a mutual arrangement we both saw into. How you feeling today, Sushi? But can she walk in the fire? Can she run in the rain? Can she make it up the mountainside? She make it down again I have often wondered If she'll go and jump the fence Will she keep on moving onward Or stay in what could it be? Broke my arm in December We were running for the sea Turned in the canyon The storm is over. Still, I remember no one she could Oh, the sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. It was a mutual arrangement. We both knew what to do. She had a star on the forehead that was easy. When I let down her bridle, I saw into her hazel eyes. We had a deep understanding, never had to use a bit. It was a mutual arrangement and an honest respect. Can she walk in the fire? Nice Can hair. She run <laughs> I don't think I want a haircut. <laughs> I think your hair's feeling a little differently. <laughs> no. Put the skin in my eyeballs. <laughs> you ready to uh, cut that rat's nest? Nope. <laughs> you sure? Nope. I think it's about time. No! <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What did you do? <laughs> today is a very special day <laughs> because today, well, not to, we didn't go to storage today, but we brought back all of this from storage. And let me uh, remind everybody what all this stuff is. All this stuff that is new with tags. This is Elion's collection of winter clothes that Loretta sent him last year. Now, the great thing about these clothes is that she bought them a little big, which is perfect for this winter because now he has all of these really, really nice thermal hoodies. He's got, oh my gosh, there's so many hoodies. So many hoodies. Look at this one, nice. Whoa, that is soft inside. <laughs> yep, and all of these, are the perfect size for Elion this oh, year. and the dinosaur. <laughs> so he will have absolutely no problem with clothes this coming up winter. He's got a really, really nice thick winter jacket. Totally thermal, That'll reversible, really nice. And Loretta bought him these, which are so awesome. <laughs> yeah, that, that is how you get into the woods and cut down trees and use your, you know, yeah, new baby chainsaw. This is going to um, make me warm. <laughs> and just for for all of the uh, for all the people who don't get the joke, he doesn't really play with chainsaws in the woods. It's it's just a joke. <laughs> we have t-shirts, sweatshirts nice thick sweatpants everything a kid could ever need to get through a winter <laughs> and she sent him a bunch of these little hats with matching gloves 
Like, <laughs> yeah, so we have like three or four of these that have matching gloves. There's a dinosaur one, a bear one. Um, I can't even remember where we're gonna. This is only the first. This is the first box. So Loretta, thank you for sending this stuff too big for him last year because you hooked him up this year. This is going to be a great winter because we are ready. We are ready this winter. <laughs> Check it out. We found, <laughs> we found the top to your Pikachu jammies. You've been wearing the bottoms all year. <laughs> And I finally have the tops for it. Look, and it still has the tag on it. <laughs> Pikachu! Now you have complete jammies. Thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> we are gonna be doing winter in style this year. Thank you, Loretta. Oh wait, cool. Check this dude out. Ugh. <laughs> You should hear the old man noises that I get to hear before the camera turns on. Oh Lord, I'm telling you, <laughs> just from this one cut yesterday and setting all this up, bending over, I see why people build uh, like platforms, put these trees up higher. Because when you're bending down to do this crap, oh my God, it'll hurt old man. So crazy. it's trial and error. But uh, <laughs> so yesterday, I just Dang. Uh, Yesterday I uh, cut this one board off the top. I just use I just use this uh, two by six as a as a guide for the first cut. And today I'm about to go actually get some lumber to actually build me a uh, a guide because I need it longer than this. This isn't long enough. I want a guide of around 16 foot. So I'm hoping. I'll be able to haul 16 footers in my six foot bed. Oh my gosh. But uh, last time we hauled, what'd we haul? Uh, 12 footers maybe? I can't really remember. But uh, we actually had them through the window of the truck and I'll show you how we messed up by doing that. But I'm probably gonna do that again, stick it through the window. <laughs> you're gonna show us how we messed up and then you're probably gonna do it again. Well, I mean, it's messed up now. But <laughs> I pretty much need like either a new back window for the truck or a new seal. Cause I kinda, uh, <laughs> I'll show you if I remember. So did you make this cut with the sawmill? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I made this cut yesterday. The last time you did. Dang, it's all nice and smooth. One thing uh, I do have to get is some some ear uh, protection for sure. Those ain't gonna work. <laughs> but yeah, kind of like these, <laughs> just uh, better. But uh, but I definitely need some of them because this dang saw is loud. But uh, I figure I'm gonna do one board before we leave. We're about to take off and go get some Wait, more supplies. Um, I gotta pick up a couple things to make my uh, actual guide. I'm gonna make a legit nice guide for this thing. Kinda.
Oh, let's move this dude out of the way. Oh, man. Could I help? Well, dang, I think that's the most perfect board I've cut yet. <laughs> Watch out, buddy. This thing's know. heavy. Where did all those ants come from? I guess, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> in it. Look at that. Wow. Pretty. It's a, it's a little... nice flat cut. <laughs> oh, I guess those ants were living in that hole. Yeah. Yeah, living in here. So oh lord, rude awakening. Nah, that man ain't hurting nothing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's a nice two inch board right there. Ah, nice. That is nice. Very pretty. Very nice. And uh, we'll we'll get the better hang of it. How long would you say that took you? I wish we would have we would have timed it ten minutes at least. Oh uh, yeah, I was thinking maybe like. 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, 10, 15 okay. minutes. Oh, wipe out. Ow. So we could definitely get two more two buys out of this, full two buys out of this thing. They're a little curved, so once you cut them straight, I mean, it's not gonna be a huge wide board, but it is what it is. Sometimes they just have that curve to them, as you can see. So you're gonna lose a little bit of lumber once you put a straight edge on it. But it is what it is. But uh, we have a lot more out here. These, I'm not sure what kind of wood this is. This is some real nice wood. I thought it was oak, but now I don't think it's oak. But it's hard, very nice hard wood, whatever it is. I dropped this big guy back here and cut it into links. This is a real big dude right here. Um, there's no way I'm lifting this up. So I'm probably just gonna knock this off and have it laying on the ground. I just wanted to cut that one slab this morning just to, just to do it before we leave. So now I'm gonna go get some two buys preferably like 16 footers and I'm gonna build a frame that you that you just nail to the top of the tree or screw to the tree and use that for your guide for the first cut um, when I used the board that I used the two by six it was not too sturdy I'll just say <sighs> all right I'm gonna take y'all for a ride I gotta go to the back camp stead get my trailer bring it back and pick up all the stuff we need for cooking so we can cook breakfast up there because I already have a nice fire going but uh, anyway here's the rain shelter the back camp stead or the front camp stead up here the place is a little messy I gotta say there's our other trail going that way. There's a trail. There's a trail. Pedal boat. We got stuff everywhere. We started when we first came. We cleared all of this out. There's the poop tree. We cleared all this out like the first month or so that we were here. Still have a lot of cleanup to do over here, but we're not really doing anything here quite yet. Um, and then you can see where we moved over there and started clearing and setting up. There's the campstead, the trailer, and the shelter. That's where we had the campstead set up, or the shelter over here, and we had the trailer parked up there when we first came. So, we cleared all this out, some's growing back, which is fine. And then down here, Copperhead Valley down here, go down this way. 
That's where the uh, generator was, right there, on that pallet there. And the property goes way, there's a trail that goes all the way down there to uh, Dead Man's Hill or whatever we named it. It's <laughs> a wild hill right there, look. Ah, it's pretty steep. So I'm making a trail through there because of that hill. That hill's pretty cool. And then that goes up that way. There's a trail going up that way to the other spot up there. And we're going through my trail over here. I got some new brakes for this thing, but I'm kind of waiting to do a couple other things at the same time, so I'm still getting it together. That's where Elyon's four-wheeler kind of died, and we never took it to charge again. Got a trail up that way that goes to the back campstead, and then we got a trail that goes this way. The trails are pretty cool. I actually uh, bought a bunch of parts for his four-wheeler sitting right there. So that's going to be a project pretty soon. We're going to get that thing uh, working better than ever. You can see there's a trail going past that up to uh, the campstead and the trailer park. And here's the back campstead. And you can tell yesterday I worked my butt off clearing all of this. I cut down trees all day long. I had a fire burning all day long right there. You can see the smoke. I had a fire burning there all day and most of the night last night. So I put some stuff on it. It's still kind of hot. But uh, I'm clearing all this out. This is where I'm starting now. And I'm actually going to work my way all the way through all of this and clear all of this out eventually. And there's a trail going that way down to the bottom. And I'm gonna clear all, keep continuing. I'm gonna keep continuing all the way down, all the way to the trail. I want all this clear where I can pretty much see all the big trees that I have. I want all these little trees gone. So that's the plan. That's what I'm kind of working on right now. Cleaning it up. But I want all this cleared out all the way to the trail, all the way around this whole thing. Firewood laying everywhere, trees everywhere. And this is the other campstead. This ain't much neater than the other one. Mostly tools though. Get this fire heated back up, but I gotta grab my trailer, go get our cooking stuff. Got some nice warm fire going, but it's done burnt down. I gotta throw some more wood on here. Get that going for uh, cooking breakfast. Throw some of these on there and get it heated. Because we're going to cook us a nice breakfast before we get to work. <clears throat> work is a lot better with a satisfied tummy. Tree branches burning and breakfast. Starting to clean up some more branches. I cleared, I cut stuff down all day yesterday. All day from morning until night. 
Um, I don't really have a before shot because I wasn't recording anything. But uh, all of this was just like the rest of that out there. All of this, I chopped down all those little trees. I've been stacking them up because a lot of these I save for the future. You just never know what you might need these, these beams for here. I have a lot of different stuff going on all at the same time. So I'm just all over the place. One day I'm sawmilling. One day I'm just clearing. <clears throat> um, the reason clearing is important to me is because the more I clear, the more I clear these small trees with these leaves blocking stuff, the more of those I take down, the better I can see the tops of these big trees. So when I go to fall these big trees, whichever ones I decide to fall, um, I can see them a lot better. You know, when you're in this brushy stuff and you try to look up at the top of the trees, you have all the small trees, the small bushy tops blocking your view. So it's just kind of hard to see. So the more you open it, the more you can fully see these big trees. And you also have a lot more uh, room, clear areas to actually drop them. So it's going to make my life a lot easier when it comes to saw milling. I was real worried during the hurricane storm with the gust of wind and stuff. I was real nervous at this tent because we have all this stuff overhead. Like that branch right there in particular, particularly that one is dead right there. And it is directly over the camp stead. So, I'm going to take this whole thing down today. Paper Lady hooked us up with an awesome, awesome new tent. It's a three room tent and a very heavy duty tarp. Probably the most heavy duty tarp I've ever owned. And it's huge. It's a huge heavy duty tarp. So, I like this spot right here. I like my natural little fire pit that pretty much there was a dip right there and the more I burn the more it's kind of it's uh my fire pit I like it so I definitely I like this spot it's not completely level but it's level enough for now until um we get another project going like a you know a structure like a cabin whatever a building so we're kind of gonna set up in this I want to build it where it's gonna keep us warm this winter that way we can have a couple heaters we got the kerosene heater I'm thinking about buying one of those uh, propane or natural gas wall heaters that you run off of a propane tank thinking about getting one of those I'm planning on having a wood stove so I'm thinking three sources of heat should keep us good for the winter. I just have to build it where it kind of hopefully holds in a decent amount of heat um, to get us through the night. Once I take this down, I have to cut down some of these trees. I want this area right here over the tent. I want this area over the campstead to be safe from falling branches and stuff. So, one, two, three, four, five, six trees. I want these six big trees gone. And I'm thinking about actually using them for some part of the structure. So I'm thinking I should cut them up here pretty much over my head. That way these will still be good posts. It's like basically having a post in the ground. So that could, I can tie off to these trees to keep my structure really sturdy when it's windy but we won't have the tops up here creating danger for us you know so because I don't want to be under any kind of dangerous dangers I don't want a branch like that falling on us or the camp stead so I have to move all of this stuff empty this tent and move it out of the way somewhere Somewhere where it's out of the way, out of the danger of these trees hitting them. 
I'm taking this tent down, all these tarps, everything's going to get moved. And I'm going to cut down these trees and make this safe. And hopefully have us a cool winter store or winter shelter. And we'll also have the kerosene heater outside. So that's per perfectly fine for outside the shelter. And then I'm thinking about putting the, the gas heater inside and possibly a little wood stove. We're probably gonna be cleaning up a lot of the stuff that I cut down and burning it. I wanna keep that fire going all day. And uh, just clean this all up, make it like our paradise back here. And uh, and then uh, once it's cleaner and I can drop some of these trees, then we're cranking up the, the sawmill. And we're going to start creating lumber, stacking that up. And uh, hopefully by the end of winter, sometime this winter or the beginning of summer, we'll have us a nice actual building built. And uh, then we'll just keep on going, keep on milling, hopefully build some other buildings and make this place cool.